Hello, I'm Andrew, aka Quasi, and this is another episode of Point Rock Review. So I have two beers, and they're both fall slash Halloween beers, I guess you would say. But these are more fall beers than anything. So uh, our first one is brought to us by El Cottonville. And hopefully you guys can see that. Hopefully that focuses on it. This is Pumpkinville Latte. This is a seasonal ale. Alcohol is 6.5%. It is a pumpkin ale brewed with coffee. Now I'm looking at this and it looks pretty um, clear. It doesn't really look like a coffee. Um, I noticed when the light's hitting it, there is um, stuff floating in it. So there is, this is probably not 100% filtered. Um, it's not a bad thing. It's kind of like one of those unfiltered beers in a way. But we're going to pop it open, even though it doesn't say it's unfiltered. We're going to pop it open and see what we got. Yeah, that's like real pumpkin they put in there. You can smell that. You can smell that. So let me pour this in. See what we got. Shake that stuff up in there. Might have just settled whatever was in there, the settled at the bottom of it. But maybe if I stir it up, it won't be so bad. Yeah, I don't see anything right now. So hopefully whatever I did just stirred up the sediments in it. Um, it's kind of like a little hazy, but mostly clear. Now this reminds me of one of the other pumpkin beers we had, I think last year or the year before. I wish I could remember who it was. Um, I've got pumpkin beer things all over the place for, I keep all my six packs and I put them up on the wall around the garage as a border, which now is almost becoming wallpaper. But there was a beer I, we had that smelled just like this and I think it was, it's almost the same exact thing. Uh, and uh, it has that real pumpkin like in it, or at least, you know, kind of tasted like it, but Anyways, it's got a decent size head of foam. Not bad. Uh, pretty light color. Now it looks pretty clear. So here we go, guys. We're going to try this out and try to figure out what other beer this reminds me of. Okay. I can't remember the beer, but this is a little different. There is a nice uh, cinnamon nutmeg uh, flavor to this. It's definitely got the pumpkin spice in it. It's definitely pretty good. Uh, latte, I don't know. Um, but I think latte, I'm thinking I'm supposed to be drinking this warm and I don't think that would be good warm. But the foam's kind of creamy. It's kind of got that creamy uh, latte uh, texture to it in the foam. Maybe even in the flavor. I'm not a latte type of person, but I've had like pumpkin pumpkin beers, or not pumpkin beers, pumpkin coffees and stuff like that. And they're okay, but it don't really taste like this. But maybe if it was a latte, it would. But that smell is almost like a more of a real pumpkin. And I, I wish I could remember who it was that did that. But I've got all these different uh, pumpkin ales everywhere. Who knows who it was, who did it. Um, if I can remember, I'll put a picture of it up there. If not, then eh, oh well. But uh, this is pretty good. It's definitely got the nutmeg in there. It's got a little bit of the cinnamon. It's got the pumpkin taste to it. And the fo with the foam and everything else, I guess it gives it that latte feel to it. But overall, this is pretty good. Definitely tastes like a pumpkin beer. Surprisingly, it's quite smooth. Uh, pretty clear, surprisingly, even though I saw all that sediment in it. But, you know, that, that happens in beer, especially when you make them just fresh like that. I'm sure these are re uh, recent. And uh, like I said, they probably used real pumpkin and uh, other things into it, so it's gonna it's gonna set. Especially if they did the nutmeg, that's gonna settle there too. But uh, it's overall it's good. This I think this would be really good if you got it on tap. So our next beer is brought to us by Beacon Skiff. This is their 1911 beer. This is their. Um, Sweet Apple. This is their another cider beer of theirs. Uh, this is their New York State Fair beer. I'm assuming that's why it says NYS Fair on it. 
Uh, maybe, I've never been, I haven't been to the fair in New York State in so long, I don't know. The alcohol on this is 5.5% alcohol. Um, now, uh, we've done some other 1911s, and 1911, our Beacon Skiff, they do very, very good with their ciders. Um, I don't think I've ever been disappointed with any of their ciders. This says sweetness scale is 6. So, 6 out of 6 for their sweetness. So, this is supposed to be sweet. Pour this in, and of course, it looks just like a cider. Nice and clear. Very nice and clear. I can't wait to see how sweet this is. I don't even know why I shook it up because this is not going to have any foam. So remember, this is a cider, guys. It smells sweet. It smells like a cider. It smells like most of their ciders that they make um, that are really on the sweet side, especially like their cider donut. I kind of get a hint of that with the, the sweetness that I'm getting off of this. But, of course, that one is a 5 out of 5. Let's see what this one is. Wow. Um, as you can tell, it's really clear, really fine. They definitely filtered that very, very well. And they say this is sweet. It's sweet. It's not, I wouldn't say like overpoweringly sweet. I mean, some people might think, hey, this is just way too sweet. Um, I think it's good. And it's definitely the five, six range like they said it is. Uh, it, it almost reminds me of the cider donut just a little bit. It's just the cider donut. I think it had like a little bit of a uh, 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 cinnamon, maybe caramel taste to it. Like a little bit of a zing of that, which made it really, really sweet. This is almost the same thing. This is really good. I mean, if you don't like, like, really sweet cider, I would stay away from this, probably. I don't like mine dry. I like mine sweet. I like mine with flavor. I don't, I don't, I don't really care for that dry taste. And uh, that's definitely not in this at all. 1911, you've done a good job once again. It is definitely exactly what you guys said it is. A very sweet or a sweet cider you got it so our first review is the El Cottonville's Pumpkinville Latte um, now when I was drinking this I didn't even think hey there's coffee in this because you know they said there's coffee in it I really did not notice really much of a coffee um, they said latte and that's kind of where I was going with that Still didn't really notice any coffee after, even after I was done drinking the beer, after, you know, cutting to uh, the next beer and everything else. Um, but the Pumpkinville Latte, uh, hopefully you guys can see that. When I see that font and I see the picture of that, uh, the only thing I think is Farmville, which is kind of funny. And it's kind of cute that they kind of went that way. Um, to me, I think they went that way. Maybe they didn't, but I think they went that way. Um, this was good. It was good. Uh, more of a latte, I guess, than a coffee. It was kind of, yeah, if you want to go latte, I'm thinking latte, coffee, coffee, latte, whatever. I guess it was kind of there. It was more of a, a creamy taste to it than more of a coffee. Um, the, the, the spices of the pumpkin were there. They had the... Uh, the, the pumpkin, it had the, uh, the, the nutmeg, that's it, nutmeg, um, they had the head in there, and, uh, it was, it was a decent beer, uh, I think I would drink this again, but, uh, this was really good, and, uh, I'm gonna give this one a three, it, it definitely meets the bar, I would definitely, uh, drink this again, no problem, and it's definitely something you guys should try. So our next review was the Beacon Skiff. 1911 this was the sweet apple um it's another cider of theirs the alcohol was 5.5 like i said before and uh honestly this was really good i won't say it was good as their uh, cider donut because the cider donut is just phenomenal but this is good it has the sweetness of that and everything else and it this is like second this is second to the cider donut so i'm going to give this one a 
So that's two beers, two reviews, and two more reasons to go to Pumpkinville to get your pumpkin spice latte fix. Until next time, guys. Any of you local viewers that watch our channel, go check out Anacosti and check out their huge selection of, oh, yeah. of beers. If you want something different than the norm, I would go there. Mm -hmm. So if you're ever in Rome, New York, go check out mm -hmm. Anacosti. And tell them Point Rock Review sent you.